Okay. Hello. Uh, I am Nick. Uh, it has been it has been a year since my last video. I'm sorry about that, but you know a lot of things happened to my life this year. I always keep telling myself that I will continue with the videos, but always something happened and I didn't. Well, um, let me tell you uh, that uh, the whole year passed without any significant improvement, uh, despite a lot of effort with uh, supplements, herbs and all that. Um, I tried this year that has passed, I tried to meet new people, to to be a normal part of the society again after being bed bound for almost uh, one and a half year or two years uh, being house bound. Uh, I tried to to meet new people, uh, new friends, to have a relationship and things just didn't go as well as I wished. Uh, you know that hurt me, that hurt me a lot. Uh, emotionally I was uh, you know if you when you when you have suffered so much in your life and you have this devastating invisible illness um, then you probably say that you are strong enough and that uh, no one can hurt you anymore but this just wasn't the case in my situation in my con in my life I just um, try to be honest with people and uh, try to explain to them what's my condition and all that and one thing that I want to mention is that uh, in general I faced a lot of disbelief you know I think that is something that you probably know um, y with your own experience that uh, people they just for some reason they just uh, choose not to believe that you are sick or uh, because you you may look okay from the outside um, they they choose to um, to believe that maybe you probably uh, are less sick than, than you might say uh, despite the fact that you probably uh, just don't describe how sick you are because if you did then you wouldn't be a nice company you know when you have symptoms 24 7 uh, who would like to hear about that all the time you know we've learned to live with pain and it's uh, it's very sad when people uh, don't believe you anyway um, I will continue the videos uh, as I told you and uh, in this video I would like to talk to you about an issue that might or might not be uh, important uh, or central for some doctors uh, in our illness and the, the issue is called uh, the mitochondrial issue the mitochondrial dysfunction you know uh, no, Dr. Sarah Michael, which is a doc who, uh, who is a doctor that I respect a lot. I respect her work. I respect the fact that he she tried to go against uh, the vaccines and against the um, silicone implants, and that's why they had she had lost her license, I think, twice. Uh, she states that uh, in people with chronic fatigue syndrome the central cause is uh, mitochondrial failure but uh, I disagree and um, I have good reason to do that you know because um, I've done the test that Dr. Sarah Michael suggests the mitochondrial uh, function ATP function test something like that from uh, Dr. Howard and I did, did that test twice uh, 
once I did a test when I, w when I was bed bound and uh, the test showed that my mitochondria is working and that I have a normal response so that couldn't explain my fatigue and my condition you know and after that and after a lot of reading uh, I finally came to the conclusion that uh, Richie, Dr. Richie Shoemaker is right and we all have mitochondrial dysfunction but it is secondarily you may probably uh, apart uh, some of us may have uh, mitochondrial issue itself also but all of us we all have secondarily mitochondrial dysfunction and what does it mean it's the same as I told you in a past video about the adrenal glands the adrenal glands are working to most of us but we all have this autonomia which means that the whole axis hypothalamus pituitary and adrenal axis is not working well so that's why we have a lot of symptoms of uh, the um, of the autonomic nervous system because it's the whole axis that doesn't work well the same happens with mitochondria what happens we our mitochondria in most of us work but the problem is that we have uh, capillary hypoperfusion and low VGF which means that despite the fact that the mitochondria might work we do have circle uh, we do have problem with our circulation with our microcirculation and a lot of parts a lot of parts of our bodies just don't get enough oxygen and this low oxygen delivery is making our bodies and the cells of our bodies which contains mitochondria not pr to produce energy and that's what happens to us we do have we do we have very very low aerobic uh, aerobic activity stamina because we do not make enough ATP we do not make enough ATP because our mitochondria don't get enough oxygen and the problem is not in the mitochondria itself that's something very important I think that Dr. Richie Shoemaker in the beginning when I was started uh, when I started um, reading about mold and biotoxins you know I was a bit skeptical mm, I just couldn't mm, it just just didn't fit in my mind you know that uh, this might be the issue but uh, the biotoxin pathway and the inflammation pathway that Dr. Richard Schumacher describes I think I think that it will be a breakthrough and uh, that it's probably what uh, seems to happen to most of us with this illness and it doesn't it doesn't matter if if it's Lyme or mold or candida or whatever creature produce these biotoxins if we are if you are susceptible the pathway is the same so that's why we face common symptoms and the fact uh, that mitochondria is an issue is uh, is totally secondary it's totally secondary and although uh, many doctors suggest that you should take uh, supplements to improve your mitochondrial function, function well this might help a little bit but it will not cure the fatigue it will not make you because if the, if the problem of the fatigue and the post exertional malaise which is a key symptom by the way a uh, key symptom uh, was uh, with uh, with only with mitochondrial function, then by taking D ribose, CoQ10, and all that, then you will never ever face this symptom again. Well, the fact is that the problem is totally secondarily, 
and that's why uh, maybe you should take these supplements I take CoQ10 for example and I take carnitine but um, well okay I'm sorry about the video um, I take carnitine and CoQ10 but I do this just for giving a little boost you know it, it will not cure the fatigue so this is an important issue about mitochondria and uh, it was a myth I think all that he, all these years that we do all have mitochondrial dysfunction the truth is that we have secondarily mitochondrial dysfunction and, and, you, and you have to understand that you know every time you take something in my case every time that I take something that increases the circulation and the microcirculation I I, I have more stamina so that's, that's how I figured it out by trial and error, you know. So thank you. Uh, I'm sorry that uh, it has been so much time since my last video, but I promise that I will try. I will try to go in depth to the topics that we all uh, that are most important with uh, to all of us, like the chronic infections. And another thing that I've learned is that. Lime might not be uh, the central cause of the illness. You know, uh, other other infections might play a uh, mo most important role, and also toxicity from heavy metals like mercury, which in my case plays an plays an important role, and environmental, I think, and I mean, and from biotoxins, the toxins from the microbes. So, and for all, of course, the immune dysfunction. I will go in depth uh, to these topics to other with other videos. So, thank you for now. Um, I'm here again. You know, um, I had a year which I tried to be normal, but you know finally I, I I figured out that I will never be normal again you know I will never be normal again uh, even if I am okay which I think uh, being having a recovery close to 100% is almost impossible but uh, even even if that happens I will never be the same person I'm not the same person. I've changed. The illness have changed me. Uh, it's not that I am a bad person now. It is just that I am special, you know. And um, the there is another thing. The thing that I live in a small country like Greece, and here our illness is totally you know, unknown to the medical community and of course to normal people. So that's why I will I tell you that I will never be the same and uh, that uh, the illness has changed me. I think uh, all of you can understand what I mean. <sighs> okay it's too late here I have to go to sleep thank you and I will come back to you with future video bye